Hey guys, it's the next day. I'm just gonna wipe this. It's the next day. We're back at home now. Thank God, I was so tired from going around London. Um, and we're just gonna start making the baskets. We went to get a load of chocolate today um, for the baskets, which I'll show you in a little while. But we're just gonna start making small bags for the dried fruit. Um, so we brought these from Hobby Craft. So these bags were one pound and you get 50 bags in here. So we're gonna mix up some dry fruit. I mean, are we doing it separate? Oh, apparently we're putting them in separate bags um, in here. I thought we were mixing them up and making them assorted, but my sister said we're not. We can do that, but Gina said separate. Yeah, because I haven't got the chocolate raisins. We forgot to buy them today. Anyway, so we've got pistachios, we've got cashew nuts, walnuts, green raisins and almonds. But I'm also... Oh, and we've got dates here. So we've got these, two packs of these dates. And then we've got these dates with almonds in them, which look really nice. Um, so these are all from Southall because you get them cheaper there, I think. Um, but I also need to put, I want to put chocolate raisins in, but, and we went to Tesco today to get all the chocolate and I completely forgot about the chocolate raisin, but I'm going to get that stuff tomorrow because I've still got more chocolate to get. When Gina did her engagement basket, she spent over $500 on chocolate, which I think is crazy. <laughs> I spent about, how much do you think I spent on chocolate today? About £40. About forty pounds, and then like I've got to buy more tomorrow. So say I think maybe max I spend is like 100, 150 pounds. But yeah, so we're just gonna we've got these baskets here. These baskets I got from Southall and them, and then we've got the shredded paper to put at the bottom. Um, sorry about the noise in the background. We've got guests over. Okay, bye. So we got this shredded tissue paper from Card Factory, it was 99p per packet. So we got four red ones and then I've got this huge bag that I ordered on eBay of gold. So we're going to mix the red and gold together and put it at the bottom of this basket to pad it and then put the stuff on top like chocolates and dry fruit, dry nuts, etc. And then we've got bows. Um, which are this colour here, like a burgundy plum type of colour. Gold thin ribbon, gold thick ribbon. This is all from Whittington Silk Flower Shop in Hayes. And then this satin ribbon, burgundy again. Two, we got two of them as well. So, and then we've got two of these baskets as well. And then we're going to put cellophane around and then tie it with a bow at the top. So these still need to be decorated. Um, but I will show you guys once that's done. Um, so this is what we are doing with these little bags. So we're just going to... Um, do you want to just have some gloves and fill them up? Yeah. Okay guys, so this is what we're going to do. Just grab some nuts and put the... I don't know why Gina's laughing. Put it in the cellophane bags like this. Okay, you can stop recording now. I just want to. I do have coloured paper but it's not very nice colour paper, just too plain. So this is what it's looking like so far. We've still got a few more things to add but this is one of the baskets. We've still got to put the cellophane around it but that's what it's looking like so far. And let me just show you guys, I don't know, let me just show you guys the chocolates we got. Okay, so we got loads of chocolate. My mum thinks this is loads, by the way. 
But okay, I'm buying more um, tomorrow in it from that hotel play hotel shop that place. Anyway, so we got this Lindor chocolate, which is assorted. Then we got. Um, that smells like shit. Okay, but <laughs> I'm not even joking. I just cleared it up. <laughs> Someone <laughs> shat. There was a. My sister thinks, I don't know, something dropped on the carpet there. It looks like shit and it smells like shit as well, apparently. Oh my god, I can smell it. It's shit. How the hell did shit get in Did someone get shit on their shoe and they've stepped in here? Anyway, we've got two green and black bars, one milk, one white. Do you guys want to start seeing what it looks like in the basket while I'm filming it? Kieran, do you want to set it out? Um, we're just going to try it out in the basket to see if we've brought enough chocolate. I'm sure we have. Which basket? Yeah, put it in that one. It'll look better in that. Uh, can you not wheel the chocolate over? And then we've got these Lindor ones. So the in individually wrapped chocolates we're going to put in just without the boxes on. So we're going to take them out of the boxes. We've got this big box of Lindor chocolate. And then we've got two packets of the Hershey's Kisses cookies and creams these are individually wrapped as well so they're coming out of the packets and then we've got a box of these Elizabeth Shaw dark chocolate mint crisp chocolates and then I've got this Toblerone I love Toblerone um, I got it because it's fruit and nut and my fiance loves fruit and nut so one of them and then we've got a Thornton's classic collection chocolate box which is gold wrapped already um, with the burgundy bow on it so I thought that matches our colour scheme so I got that then I also got a Thornton's Moments chocolate box and um, these are individually wrapped so these are going to come out of the box as well and finally in this bag I oh no not finally there's something else in there this Gylian, um Belgian chocolates Got one box of them and then we've got a box of Maltesers as well then in this bag we got I thought we'd get a box of biscuits because biscuits are always nice it's got these Fox's Viennese milk chocolate dipped fingers well, and we got the Twining Swiss chocolate drink so this was actually um, Gina's idea she oh. She's cleaning the shit off the carpet. <laughs> I'm 100% sure it's shit. So we got this chocolate drink. It just mixes it up a bit rather than it all being chocolate. And so I thought that was a really nice idea. So we got some cho hot chocolate. And we got a big bar of galaxy chocolate. And this is the final one, I think. My favourite, a variety box of Ferrero collection so it's got the normal Ferrero Rochers, the Raffaello's and the dark chocolate ones so yeah these are all the baskets this is not everything we're also going to have a basket with fresh fruit and we're also going to have Matiai which is Indian sweet um, to give to my fiance's family and to my fiance but um, this is what we've got so far tomorrow I'm going out to get more chocolate but I'm having that chocolate personalised um, <coughs> that chemical just went right down my throat so yeah this is what we're doing at the moment we're going to see if this is enough chocolate for the basket I think it will be so now we are just wrapping the handle in ribbon that's the all the um, little bags complete with the chocolate we went out to get the chocolate raisins and stuff so we're just wrapping this gold and burgundy ribbon across the handle then we're going to put cellophane around it. So this is the dry fruit basket. Dry nuts and fruit that is. Um, this is a chocolate one. It's all set up now. So all the chocolates are in place. I've just got to get the personalised chocolates and put them at the front here. And then we've just got to wrap it up in the cellophane like we have done with this one. And I really love how we've got the burgundy with the gold as well that looks really nice and then this is the um, tile or the metal tray um, with other chocolates in 
So that's also wrapped in the cellophane with the bow and the um, smaller ribbons that we've curled. So that's just three of them at the moment. We've still got to do a few more. Really late now though, it's like half three in the morning, 3.30am. 3, 3 so I'm going to get some sleep and I'm going to be hopefully finishing off some more of the baskets tomorrow. Hi <laughs> guys, it's the next day. Um, we've been out all day getting our nails done. Um, my cousin arrived from <coughs> Vancouver today. We all went to get our nails done and had such a nightmare with our bloody nails. We were there. We were only went to be in town for like a couple of hours. We were there for five or six hours. It was ridiculous. My pedicure really doesn't look that good, but I'm going to sort it out. And these are my hand nails. So you can't actually see the chrome. Let me see if I can get better lighting. Um, so some of them are one, the ring fingers are chrome. Okay, the lighting's really bad, but the ring fingers chrome and then the rest have got stones on. So yeah, now um, Jean is just cooking some bindi up. She's chopping some onions up. Are you having fun, Gina? Oh, yes, I love it. <laughs> so, I can't wait to eat. And we're also having dal and... Um, what else are we having? Dal and bindi up. And that is my vlog camera. Oh. No, she's telling Ida what she's eating today. Oh, I'm going Friday and it's the day before the engagement. I'm feeling really stressed and nervous at the moment. And I've got a list of things that I need to do by to the end of today that I'm currently trying to work my way through. Um, let me just get back to my list. So I've only got about two things done on my list and I have about 20 items to get through. So. <laughs> But yeah, we just went out this morning and brought the fruit from Taj Grocer for the summer uh, for the baskets that we need to make. It's got some bananas in their nectarines. Uh, we've got a big pineapple and loads of different exotic fruits and stuff like that. So we've got to do the baskets in a little while. I'm just going to eat something um, and just get through today. Hopefully, get myself organised and so that I feel a little bit better for tomorrow. Um, also, I just wanted to show you guys something that really, really, really means a lot to me. So yesterday, my cousins came to see me last night. Um, and unfortunately, they won't be there tomorrow because they're going to be in Vancouver. Um, but they brought me some really lovely gifts and um, it made me quite emotional. And it was just really meaningful um, and it meant a lot to me that they came over and did so much for me. Um, 
so they brought me a Millie's cookie which says mine and my fiance's name on it Jeevan and Hira and um, I might eat that with all my family tonight just cut it all in half and everyone can have some pieces because I've got more family arriving from Canada today so this is the last lot of family arriving from Canada so I'm really excited to see everyone I've already got four, five, six family members from Canada down already and I've got another four coming today um, so yeah they brought me a Millie's cookie which I will show you guys just now um, I'll show you. Um, my spray. Yeah. Um, here you go. Oh, you're so cute. You know that I like the spray in it instead oh. of the oil. Oh my god, this is too sappy for me right now. <laughs> and uh, this is a cookie they got me. But I can't wait to eat it. Probably eat it tonight because it might go a bit hard by tomorrow. A bit stale. Oh my god, it smells so nice. Yes, yeah, so that's the first thing they got. Yeah, there's a reason for it. Does it not work there? And then <laughs> I'll show you the really meaningful gift that they got me. The really sentimental gift that I'll cherish forever and ever. It's this book that they got me. So it was wrapped in a ribbon like this. Just take the ribbon off. And then, first of all, how beautiful is this? It's so, so beautiful, this book. And it's really, really big as well. I knew, as soon as I saw it, I knew it would make me emotional and cry, but they wanted me to have a look at it while everyone was there and sitting there. So yeah, so then I open it up, sorry, I had a phone call, so I am back and filming. So the first page is this, my baby picture my birthday and my name I thought that was so cute the thing is the thing that I love about this book is that they've put so much thought time and effort into it and that more than anything means a lot to me um, they've got messages from loads of my family members with pictures uh, of me and them with their messages next to it they've got a pictures uh, a page from my grandparents with pictures of my grandparents who are unfortunately aren't aren't with us today yeah here okay but it's just a really nice thought so <laughs> this is me and my cousin who's the same age as me yeah i'm coming thank you um we're born in the same year so oh we're so cute i swear to god i haven't even seen some of these pictures but that's my cousin and that's me that's my cousin and that's me so yeah i'm not going to show you the whole book because it has a lot of personal pictures in it but I just wanted to show you what they got me I absolutely love it I'll cherish it forever and ever